Hi, this is Steve with Ink Miser and ShopDiceSub.com. This is a quick demonstration on how to uh, take this uh, brand new uh, refillable 3800 cartridge and make it a cartridge that will work using the existing OEM uh, microchip that comes from the Epson uh, cartridge that must be removed and placed onto this cartridge here. And I'll show you how that's done. It's very simple. What we're going to do is we're simply going to pry this chip off right here. Then we can discard that cartridge and then we're going to take this chip holder here and we're going to lift this simply pry that off just like that and then we're going to drop this chip right into the hole right there and it'll line up right on top of those pins. There's two pins, one there, one here. Press it down in place. Take this chip and place it back on top. And that's it. It's ready. This chip is now ready to go or this cartridge is ready to go. We just have to fill it. So what we're going to do is pull this rubber plug out right here. And we're going to insert the syringe tip right into this hole. And this is where we do our filling. We never fill this hole. This is a vent. So we're going to do all of our filling right here and you're just going to inject the ink into it until the cartridge is full. It will take approximately 100 ml of ink and then when you're done you're going to pull this plug out right here and you can see there's a hole right there. That's a priming hole and we're simply going to take the syringe without a needle and we're going to just simply install it. We're going to pull back on the plunger and fill some ink directly into this syringe that will prime the cartridge and make it ready so it can be installed and then you're simply going to go ahead put the plug in and by the way this should have been placed in this rubber plug should have been placed in right away um, after the filling was done otherwise ink will simply start to leak out of the back end we don't want that and then when you're ready to go ahead and install the cartridge you simply pull this plug off and then shove the cartridge into the printer it's now ready to be used you must run a complete set of all nine cartridges you cannot run partial sets they will not work the chips will not register and these are available at inkmiser.com at shopdiceup.com and we have a full complement of many different types of cartridges for Epson HP and Canon printers as well as all the different inks and other uh, uh, printer supplies thank you